inspired by um, multiple things throughout the area of uh, actually true events, including um, the Potato Hill and the Hatch murders. So with that said, um, you know, the difference between a true event and a true story. Right. It, like if you think of the Titanic, it legitimately sank. That did happen. And if you were to do a documentary about, you know, the Titanic and what happened, that would be true events. And mm -hmm. you could even take true characters that were there and, and do that. But if you were to go and do the James Cameron version and you bring in Rose and Jack and you dramatize it, then it's more based on based on true events instead right. of a true story. And so, um, and so that's more what we're doing. We're bringing in a protagonist that you're going to go, Oh, I really like her. I don't want her to die. And and that type of thing and we're <laughs> fictionalizing. Okay, so something. is there going to be a Bernard Hatch? Um a character based on <laughs> yes. Um, will, will, will there actually be a Bernard Hatch? Uh, no, you know, we didn't um, plan on using the name at all. Mm -hmm. um, will a character be based on him? There will be a character based on his uh, his dealings. He things that of, he Yes. Right. But there are allegedly and, maybe, and was convicted and, of and, 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 and maybe <laughs> things that allegedly happened and things that are rumored to have happened right. and there's a lot of myth that is associated and maybe there's stuff that happened that um, he wasn't convicted of. And so, you know, there is this urban legend stuff that there is. That, that has right. surrounded and you know, maybe we will delve more into that. As and that's well. the job as filmmakers is, you know, we the, the horror genre is such a unique, thrilling genre to actually uh, put into perspective on the screen. It has a huge, large fan base. And what's what's actually beautiful about the horror, horror genre and its fans is that they're very forgiving with stuff that happens on screen. You know, when you do a, a drama, when you do a... A political thriller, you know, you always you always look at the screen and go, oh come on, that can't happen. No, no, that doesn't happen, and it really disengages the audience when you do that. But for horror films, they just don't care. <laughs> they, they're like, oh my god, you dismembered her that way. That's awesome, you know. And they have this, even if it can't literally happen, or biologically can't happen, or scientifically can't happen. The horror fans attend, you know, it has they this, put they, themselves they put in themselves there, in there. and everyone yes. loves, you know, there's a little dark side to every human being, whether they like to admit it or not. I'm not admitting it. <laughs> there's a little dark side and they love to see that they love to be scared. They love to be horrified. Yes. They love to be in, you know. We as filmmakers love to capitalize on that to make it entertaining. Our job ultimately in the end is to entertain. Mm -hmm. We're not here to do a documentary on Potato Hill. We're here to, to take true events, twist your imagination, and tell you an engaging, fun movie to watch.